So today I like to talk about something called a library called uh, Font Awesome. It has both a font type or font family, you could say, I guess, and icons. Uh, it's it's an excellent library. It can be very useful with your projects. Um, so far, I created this almost blank application. I did only a couple of things. I uh, added the reference. Let me show you here. This font awesome WPF. And uh, this is actually a NuGet package. So to get it, right click on your project. Select Manage NuGet Packages, Browse, and type in Font Awesome. And this is the one we select. Font Awesome WPF dot WPF. Since I have already installed it, the only option I got is to uninstall. So that if after doing that, next thing will, will be bringing this namespace in. Uh, let me remove this and bring that in again. FA HTTP, that's an HTTP namespace. So as you type in H, the first one will be um, the correct option. Okay, so we have our reference, we have namespace, and we have a couple of grids and a couple of columns and two stack panels, one on each column. And let's just create our first font awesome element. Font size too small. Oh, we can zoom in here. Let's go 100%. Still too small. Let's increase the font size. Let's go with um, 30. All right. So that's the font. That's basically behaves like a text block. Okay. You still can do the binding in here if you need to, but. Um, It's the it it's basically a text block, okay. Mm. Alright, so that's that. Um it's also uh, the option of to use this as an icon. Say, um, let me change this to FA so you can tell the difference. So that's a text block, right? And want awesome icon. You can use the icon. And change the font size to 30. This is an icon, uh, this is an icon, but uh, we still can use the font size here. Interestingly, let's run this, see what we have so far. So as you can see, this is just a text block, and this is an image, an icon, okay? So that's the difference between the two. Okay, next there is something called Image Awesome. 
This one is an icon too, but it behaves like an image. Um, let's see, let's say YouTube. So now I can't use the font size. I have to use height or width. Let me use width for this one. Let's go to 30 again. Mm, great. Okay, let's plug it in. And um, let's close this. So I got the YouTube icon. I can change the color. I believe it's still foreground. Red. And there you go. That's your icon for YouTube using Font Awesome. Um, what I can do with it? I can use these as an inline for a label content for example you can say font awesome content and this is going to show me the whole list of the icons i can select from the list say um let's go with um i don't know one if i and let's give it a width 30. So again, once we do it as an inline, it just behaves like this one here. We don't get design time image. Okay, let's run it. I mean, it has its use cases, but something to be aware of. You got the Wi-Fi icon in there. Then again, we can expand the label. Label content, matter of fact. Say, um, stack panel in there let's give the orientation of horizontal and let's stick in a uh, image awesome okay, image awesome and uh, icon Go at Twitter, I guess, and um, the width of thirty. A foreground color of light blue. And let's add a font awesome text block. Text. Twitter. Font size thirty. All right. So that's the head. Let's do a similar thing with the with the button. in the wrong place. Let get out there first. A button. And uh, 
expand the button content, stick in a stack panel. Orientation mm. horizontal. And let's make this, I guess. Apple Pay. So in Jason, is Apple icon. And uh, let's do width 30. And let's get text block. Text. Pay font size of thirty. All right, there's your Apple Pay button, and also there is a something code. Well, it's not really something code. Cool. It's uh, it's a feature. It's Spin feature. Say uh, image awesome. Spin, spin. No icon. Let's get set the icon first. Spinner. Um, spin. Set the true. Uh, spin spin duration oops Let's go with one second ooh it's too big width Let's change to 30 so I just spinner Um, so this is one second, every one second does one turn, can increase this to slow it down. No, it's every three seconds, one spin. Um, you can apply this to any image. Let's create another button, for example. And content. Let's put a stack panel in there. And uh, let's go with Jossum again. Icon. Mm. Bitcoin, I guess. Whoopsie. Didn't mean that. Go with thirty. Foreground orange. It's not doing anything. Guess what? All right. And. Uh, a text block or one thousand text pay mm, let's increase the font size thirty and we can spin this too if you want to mm, let's change this to Horizontal again. A little space here. And let's go spin this one too. Spin true. All right, so there you go. That spins.
Or we could do something like this. Um, let's say, uh, create a label. Label content. Stack panel. Horizontal. Then, um, then use an image awesome icon. Say mail. Do we have mail? No. Let's go. Envelope, I guess. Ah, oh, with thirty. It's a foreground of blue. And we can add text block. I mean, text box. So if you want to create a form like this, just with icons, that's fine. Sometimes if you're short in space. And give it a width. 300, I guess. 400. Uh, font size of uh, 32. So there you go. Uh, these are several ways of doing it. Like I said, it's going to be a short, brief video. Gives you an idea how to use them, but uh, it's up to your imagination. All right, thanks for tuning in. Um, have a nice day.